What's going on, people? It's your man, Just Jay Sama, back with another episode of the Canon Culture Podcast, the most consistently inconsistent entertainment commentary podcast. I'm here with producer Plank today. I thought the Kanye West thing was going to be uh, pretty relevant. Uh, so hold on. Let me actually pull these up real quick. Uh, a number of people uh, have been raising their arms in a Nazi salute as they stood behind the banner. Another sign that read, honk if you know. A third banner promotion uh, promoted a video platform that streams anti-Semitic content operated by uh, the Go Go Goyam Defense League, a network of anti-Semitic conspiracy theorists, StopAntiSemitism.org, a nonprofit dedicated to documenting anti-Semitic behavior, said that the GDL was responsible for hanging the banners over the 405. Um, the Anti-Defamation League in Southern California said in a tweet uh, known for erratic, violent anti-Semitism and white supremacy ideology. Hate has no place in Los Angeles. I agree. I agree. Kim Kardashian said she tweeted on Monday, hate speech is never okay or excusable. I stand together with the Jewish community and call on the terrible violence and hateful rhetoric towards them to come to an immediate end. Well, thank you. Um, please call your husband. How about that? Um, <laughs> call your yeah, ex-husband. Okay. <laughs> call your fucking ex-husband so he, like, he can see his kids, please. Uh, comedian and actor Amy Schumer said in an Instagram post, I support my Jewish friends and the Jewish people. Okay. I don't remember asking Amy Schumer, but okay. Brew. <laughs> Who gives a fuck about her opinion, but all right. Um... Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti said, Los Angeles is a city uh, of belonging, not hate. Uh, okay, explain that to the L LAPD. But all right. Jewish Angelinos should feel, should feel and always feel safe, he tweeted. There is no place for discrimination or prejudice in Los Angeles, and we, <laughs> and we will never back down from a fight to expose and eliminate it. All right. So, good morning, Plank. How are you? <laughs> Good morning. That's just the first article, man. Um, yeah. Uh, where do we start, man? Where do we start? Let's get into some gaming stuff. Woo. Woo. Video games. Video games. Um, I actually don't... Hold on. Did I not post anything about video games? Do we not have any video game news today? Not today, but uh, last week there was the silent hill announcement ah. as well as the resident evil showcase that's right showcase resident evil 4 gameplay that's right that should look beautiful oh my god resident evil i mean resident evil 4 is not really something i was ever like asking for a remake but hey i mean it's cool i mean they might as well since yeah. they're 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 uh they're one for two yeah i'm one for two what you mean two and three two and three you didn't like which one did you not like Ah, oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a little. Uh, I don't know. It was a little everywhere. That uh, game. I wouldn't know. I was supposed to finish them with my ex girlfriend, and it's so now I'll never play those games. So it's whatever. Down the toilet. Who cares? Sheesh. Um. <laughs> uh. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, are you excited for Silent Hill? Oh yeah. It, actually, from the I watched the whole announcement. Mm -hmm. They have. A, the remake for Silent Hill 2. Right. Which looked really good and really promising. Mm. And they announced a new title, which I forgot the name of, but it was a, a brand new title, it seemed like. Yeah, it's a it's a new new Silent Hill game. Uh, from Yeah, I, yeah. I, I saw Jake Baldino and Game Ranks talking about it, but I completely forgot the name as well. Um, I've never been a Silent Hill fan. I just, I think I played like a few minutes of the first one, a few minutes of the second one. And I, I mean, I was like nine or 10 or I don't remember how old I was. I was a child. I had the attention span of a child. Uh, if shit wasn't blowing up or there wasn't a, a really funny looking cartoon character as the main character, I really wasn't playing those games. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe as an adult, I'll go back and play Silent Hill. But uh, I don't know. Racism is scarier than anything I've seen in a video game or a movie. But, you know, that's just me. Uh <laughs> I remember watching uh, the the reason I got into Silent Hill was because I saw PewDiePie play it in like 2009. To, actually, I don't even know. It was 2012 or 11, some some ancient shit. 
uh, it was a really long time ago, but he played, did a whole playthrough when playthroughs were actually something on YouTube and not uh, a joke. Wow. So back okay. when those were actually something, I watched him play it and it was really interesting watching him play it. Hmm. Okay. And then uh, later later down the line, uh, like a couple years back, I watched like lore videos on Silent Hill and, and things like that. And like kind of catching up with the story with the games I didn't see. Okay. Uh, it was pretty interesting. So you fuck with Pyramid Head. That's the only yes. that's the only reference I know to Silent Hill outside of PT. So yeah, I like I fuck with Pyramid Head. Okay. I think that story is pretty cool for sure. Nigga need lotion real bad. Um, <laughs> hey man, ashy as fuck. Well, don't we all? <laughs> Unmoisturized head ass. Um, <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm really excited. Uh, I need some more scary games. I wanted in VR. Um, fuck it give me give me all the good shit G give it all to me man um anything that'll get my heart pumping uh more than all the stress i deal with in my life yes sir uh i'll take it mm -hmm. i'm down for it um the other gaming piece of news i'm par i particularly care for uh and i maybe you do you can let me know obviously um genshin impact 3.1 and 3.2 has been yeah yes sir genshit impact yes sir for all my boys and girls okay. who actually give a fuck about that um what you think man i did you see the you saw the trailer i think so i believe so the skarmouche uh, boss battle like did you see any of that oh yeah that shit yeah, 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 yeah. i've been seeing that That's okay all right way way a long time ago i i don't see how it came out yesterday long time ago like I said. <laughs> okay all right but, uh, anyway. in the story in the story it's been like been pretty much announced it, yeah, it's it got been announced a, in the story back in the yeah, it's been a year the, since skarmouche was revealed right i think yeah it was about a year ago or so oh yeah it was in the beginning of leeway so yeah probably a, a year and then they uh i guess they figured out his lore and they were like well all right we're gonna add some lore and then he was reintroduced in uh 3.1 or 3.1 or is that what we're in uh 3 yes 3.1 is his yeah 3.2 is going to be his debut though he's going to be on um it's going to be on a banner with uh let me see um 3.2 is actually bringing a couple of different things so it's going to be a part one part two uh for those who care uh, we get uh, Nahida, which is the Dendro Archon, uh, otherwise known as Lesser Lord Kusanali. Uh, so she's going to be a five star. Uh, she's a Catalyst user, which hmm, I don't have any fucking Catalyst left. Um, and then we're also getting Yoimiya is getting a rerun, which I don't fucking understand that. But OK, uh, that's cool. So she's a five star I bow mean, user. Strong. She Yeah, she's good. But like. And her weapon is really good. How the fuck we get her uh, rerun multiple times like back to back like this it's kind of fucking crazy um so yeah uh both of their signature weapons are going to be available um and then in part two it's going to be interesting because uh we're getting uh yai miko as a rerun so i'm very 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 excited to pull her um as well oh, as tartaglia uh, what what do you mean uh you forgot about raiden raiden's coming back soon she's 3.3 well. she's not going to be in part two Okay. Yeah, she's not gonna. She's well, not rumored until she's so gonna. Very close after. Like, very, 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 very close. I mean, six weeks is not. Six to eight weeks is not close. But okay. Um, she's gonna be in. Uh, let me see. Yaimiko, Tartaglia are gonna be the five stars for part two, um, and then there is a new four star dropping, which she's adorable. It's uh, Layla, so she's a yeah. cryo sword user. So I'm actually really, really excited to pull her as well. Um, I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm definitely gonna pull for Tartaglia and Yaimiko. Um, I don't. I don't imagine I'm gonna get either of them, but I'm completely skipping Kusanali and Yoimiya. No Raiden. Um, bro, can you please let me get to the? I'm almost there. Oh, I'm almost there. Right. Damn. <laughs> and then in 3.3, there uh, Scaramouche is gonna be available, um, which. It hasn't been revealed what his weapon is going to be. I imagine he's going to be a sword user. Uh, if not, he's going to be a catalyst, uh, which is going to suck. And then we're getting the Raiden Shogun rerun. There, see, I got it out. Who is the five-star full arm user? Um, of course, I'm going for the 180, 180 on that. Like, I'm, I'm going to spend two hundred and sixty-two dollars trying to get that bitch. Jesus Christ, bro. Hey, look, 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 look. Thunder Mommy needs needs to be in my box, bro. She she absolutely she absolutely needs to be in $200? my box. Two hundred dollars. I felt bad spending ten dollars yesterday on the battle pass. 
all right well you know also shout out to the patreon because i used that money to buy the genshin battle pass <laughs> shout out to you all. yeah shout out to the homies supporting the patreon thank you guys so much um also uh just not even uh like a a terrible plug but just like to rom remind people if you guys are not supporting us on patreon make sure you guys go ahead and do that patreon.com slash canon culture we have extra extra content that you guys cannot get um so if you're uh subscribed to the youtube channel and you're wondering where all of the extra videos are yeah they're not there uh you gotta go to the patreon for those um so you guys can check that out um let me see what yeah. else uh that's pretty much it for the genshin update we're getting um four new archon quest um that are rumored to be 10 hours each um so Jesus. yeah i know it's it's gonna be insane not including uh six different events all of this was kind of covered in the genshin impact um uh 30 minute reveal thing it was like 32 minutes of them revealing like all of the cool shit that's coming the new characters um i'm excited for it um i'm not excited for the the puzzle stuff that they're adding or the photo uh like photo event challenges and stuff like that but hey fuck it it's free primo who cares um that is true yeah as somebody who needs free shit because they are poor that is pretty good for me yeah it's gotten so bad i'm actually playing on my second account now uh so i can get like Damn. fish and stuff bro first of all let me explain to you how difficult it was to level up sino now that he's i got him at 80 and his talents are six six eight bro the yeah. amount of resources i had to go to other people's world and steal their fucking scarabs in the middle of the desert and you can only find like three four like five at a time like it's just they're so spread out so uh yeah i needed a whole nother account to like farm fish and all this other stuff so i'm actually playing on my second account i think i just got to the last time i played on the second account i think i had just gotten to leeway which is perfect like all the good fishing spots are in leeway so uh i fuck with that mm -hmm. um nice. but yeah thank you thank you thank you um still getting that. you still need the the catch or whatever yeah i'm five fish short so yeah man i just finished that up like last week hey. that shit was the most painful experience ever oh my god man you have to wait two days for the fish to reset and it's not guaranteed you get the fish you need yeah and then you got to go There's through the day and night cycle and it's yeah just, fuck. it's all bad man it's all bad genshin impact really um this is one one critique that i have uh for this specific thing though uh with scaramouche being a new raid battle um so he's gonna be a new weekly boss that you can fight every single week um which is cool all right thanks um we didn't want this um it's cool uh, to see the cutscenes and all this other stuff but here's my problem you're gonna add a new raid boss to the game but not increase the resin system like, there's been no changes to the resin system. They even said, not in this most recent interview, but the one before that, uh, with two of the head developers, they were saying, yeah, we have no uh, no plans to redo any resin or increase the resin cap whatsoever. Um, we will add, um, as you use resin, you will be able to get, like, more Heroes, will, uh, Heroes Wit and, like, um, Mora and other stuff whenever you're using resin. So you'll get a few more rewards, but you won't get like anymore like however much you get I, I think what we get like 160 a day is that what it is i can't you remember. get 160 a day but yeah. you can uh if you have fragile resin you can exceed the cap yeah and uh if you're not paying for the battle pass then you don't really get any more so you're kind of yeah you get a deal well, actually if you, you get a few have all your shit completed you get a decent amount but you get even more if you pay that ten dollars though yeah if you get waking moons and you get the battle pass oh and the set. stuff in um in the uh teapot too yeah if you fuck with the teapot you get the uh yeah you get the 60 yeah every week yeah and then you, you get, get the, the other 60. the other resin too so really i mean i'm i've j this is just the way that i do it and um you know people can tell me wrong i'm wrong or whatever all they want to i usually do condensed resin monday through friday i'll do like one per day like at the beginning of the day and then i'll just do my normal dailies and grinds and all the other shit monday through friday and then come saturday um that's when i'll pick up the I actually don't do anything Saturday. Saturday is usually a day I, I skip unless I have like talents I need to level up. But come Sunday, that's when I use all five of my condensed resin, whatever I have uh, saved up. And then I usually recharge three times through multiple fragile resin and primos. And then I'll go to the teapot and then pick up the other one. So I usually am playing almost all day on Sunday. 
like sunday is is my day of like it, if i had to guess i'm probably spending like five maybe s- almost 600 resin just like grinding mm-hmm. shit um which feels like the worst day to do it because like yeah everything is available sure but like you're missing out on so many other things so i i spent i don't know how many hours just leveling up sino the other day so um which turns out he's uh, actually um he's only okay like he's not he's not beating raiden obviously but you know i don't have raiden so i mean he's pretty good yeah he's uh, uh you have to his weapon makes him 100 times better you need his weapon though <laughs> that's i think that's most characters though like you need their weapons to be uh really good yeah there was um or more of the hyper carries yeah um right now i'm using the one that came in the battle pass i think it's the battle pass the death match the death match yeah yeah Yeah. that one's been really good um i'm waiting for this i need this i need this next seven days to go by real fast so that way i can get another one because i need it at r2 for sure um because there's Mm. there's no way like r1's just not enough um but yeah that's genshin impact so that's some gaming news uh anything anything off the top of your head you can remember for our gaming stuff before we move on uh i kind of want to go back to resident evil 4 oh yeah yeah yeah, for sure for that sure. that game looked really good like uh i don't know maybe I, th- I heard a lot of people saying like oh when i can't wait for resident evil 5 but uh Ooh, who said that you. i don't want that shit Eric, I think I've seen a couple people say Resident Evil 5 remake. Super Jet doesn't count. That, oh, uh, well. <laughs> Super Jet I guess I haven't heard it enough then. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Come on, come on. We don't... Yeah. Maybe a I, Resident I Evil 5, like... Resident Evil. It needs, like, a rehaul. It just needs, like, a whole remake, like... I mean, I liked Resident Evil 5 when it came out. Like, this is still one of my favorite uh, Resident Evil games. Do I need to see it redone in the newest engine? No, absolutely not. No, thank you. Uh, mm. I don't need to participate in that buffoonery. Um, <laughs> no, I, re- I, I mean, I, we really don't. Like, it's just modern enough to where it's like the only problems I see with Resident, both Resident Evil Five and Resident Evil Six, is the multiplayer. That's it. Like, all of the like multiplayer issues and stuff that they had on console and on PC. It's like this would be a chance for them to just re-release the game, but it actually is functional. That's the only thing I would want. So, yeah, mm. that's just me though um and at that point it's just like when are we getting resident evil 9 like what's that, i don't know what's that gonna look like because we still have the resident evil dlc coming in oh yeah uh, with his the bro's daughter i forgot his name fuck and then we have the mercenaries fuck. mode coming and then oh uh, yeah reverse uh so the multiplayer i, I feel like that shit came out though nah, there was a, the beta and yeah no 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 there's a play that test. It's not gonna hit. Yeah, no, nah, that shit's definitely not. Um, but hey, I mean, you know, it's the Resident Evil universe. I'm sure they they can come up with some cool stuff. I mean, it's really not that hard to make Resident Evil successful at this point. Like, uh, the last four games, two of them were fantastic. Well, you know what? Fuck it. We'll say three. The last three out of four games were fantastic. Uh, beautifully told stories. Very very good pacing. I figure, why not? It's not going to be that difficult to just make another game and make it partially scary and then add a couple of explosions. Boom, there's Resident Evil 9, man. We're good. We're good. It's not going to take yeah, a Yeah, but the way, uh, the way Resident Evil, the new Resident Evil uh, finish is going to be a little little awkward. Mm, yeah. But a little awkward. Uh, they'll figure maybe it out. Maybe they could make it work. Yeah, they'll definitely will. But uh, I wonder what they're going to do in terms of that. Because they made a, a big big statement with village at the end of it so yeah well we'll see we'll see i'm sure it'll be a completely i mean i wasn't expecting village to go the way that it did so we'll see i liked it yeah or biohazard actually um i thought the ending of biohazard was a little kind of crazy too i was like what the fuck is going on here so i don't know man it wasn't crazy enough it could yeah it could have been way crazier but i mean it was just all over the place it was kind of kooky it was a little depressing but (laughs) I guess it. So, but um, that's gonna be it for gaming news for today. Thank you guys for listening to that portion. Um, uh, let's see, we got a couple of different things to talk about. You want to talk about the fake amaranth, or you want to talk about Kanye West? There's a fake. Wait, there's a fake amaranth. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, just to segue into this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did not know, uh, in the past few weeks, um, legendary streamer amaranth. Okay. Uh, only fans model twitch streamer 
uh you guys know her um white girl redhead um was claiming that her husband uh yes she has a husband i know i i know this isn't the first time you guys are hearing this um not only was abusing her but has threatened to kill her dogs uh dox her uh take all of her money well she recently uh got access to her home uh changed all the locks uh ha now has full access to all of her accounts and is filing um charges against her husband and also is taking him to court and plans to divorce him from what i'm hearing on the internet i didn't hear her verbatim say that last part but she said he's getting help and you know we're looking at legal action right now i'm like i don't know what that means the internet is speculating that she's going to divorce him i don't think that's going to happen um just because you know it's just victim mentality bro that's just what victims do they don't go anywhere they get forced to go somewhere um but that's neither here nor there uh don't don't listen to me on that regard um but apparently some girl on instagram uh actually we have an article here her name is ellie ray was actually cosplaying as amaranth but like specifically during the domestic abuse arc and she actually was on, she bro this is crazy she was on her instagram live dressed up as amaranth with a black eye and and, oh, I didn't see that. Wait, bro, what? it is Why? it is fucking crazy. <laughs> it is fucking crazy because she was pretending to that uh you know, oh, my boyfriend screams and yells at me and stuff while she was playing games, mind you. So she was cosplaying her cos like she was like in character. Never once said that she was playing as Amaranth. She just dressed up as her kind of like satire you know like like she's pulling a parody and it's like why would you do this <laughs> why hey would you? i'm i'm not gonna lie bro i'm looking at the pictures on twitter this is some real <laughs> this bitch is dark, interesting bro. behavior <laughs> this is some real interesting behavior coming from a grown woman but what the fuck am i looking at i don't know bro, man i don't in, know in the tweet of the picture there's a t uh, on her twitter i found her her twitter mm -hmm. She's bound up like she has um, she has ropes around her, her chest and her legs. Mm -hmm. And it's the weirdest shit. That bitch is sick. <laughs> She's fucking sick. She's almost as bad as that time Belle Delphine pretended to be raped in the forest, bro. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, I, I, I'm questioning, I'm do so these women come up with these ideas on their own or are they like, do they have a team? Do they have like a group of people that they talk to before they? Like... Nah, they can't. They can't. You don't think so? Nobody's that dumb. <laughs> Nobody's that dumb. I don't think if you're in a room full of people and somebody says, "Hey, maybe we should." Uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. If, maybe if... we should dress you up as a a victim <laughs> of uh, sexual abuse or whatever or domestic whatever domestic abuse domestic abuse. Yeah, excuse yeah, yeah. me. Um. um Nobody, if I told you that, I swear to God, if you didn't smack me, we'd be in the, we'd be doing something wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I'd have to stop first. I'm going to be honest with you. I had to stop. And I'd be like, what do, what do you think the view is going to be like, though? <laughs> I don't know. We, we have are, to have that part of the conversation it. first. I'd be like, is, are the views going to be worth it? Like, uh, I don't think so. Cloud is a terrible drug, man. It. Cloud is a terrible drug, but I don't know. Uh, I think we got to have a couple of conversations you doing all that like not my girl I nah like, i don't see if we if you even entertain that to me i'm like wait what <laughs> the views are just not worth it no no matter what you think the views are not worth that whatever is gonna come from that that shit is not worth it mm. the fuck okay all right. you get your you get your five minutes of fame and then everyone goes oh weren't you that dipshit that did that stupid shit nah nobody will ever remember bro it's the internet we're too busy talking about shit that doesn't, people remember. That doesn't exist. Twitter's not people even a real place, bro. People remember conveniently when you do some stupid shit. So, well, you know, that's don't follow follow up stupid shit with more stupid shit. Uh, be all right. Okay. It'll be okay. And I don't know. I mean, unless this is a theme. I mean, you know, then you got to dress up as multiple streamers all the time. Like, baby, we're gonna do one week. We're gonna do Amaranth. Next week, we're gonna do Belle Delphine. The week after that, we're gonna do uh as you land after that we're gonna do pokey but you know like they're all like abuse victims 
You know what I mean? Like, well, this is, Bro, and then, and then, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then on stream, this is what I want you to do. We're going to say on stream, you know, this is for charity. You know what I mean? Like you cosplay as these, you know, caricatures of these streamers, right? But never saying like th those are the streamers that you're emulating, right? Never say it, obviously for, you know, legal reasons. And then say that all of the donations and stuff, uh, like a portion of it are going to help Good domestic portion. abuse victims. I, I, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that getting nah. pulled off, bro, for sure. I don't know. It's satire. It's like supposed to be for like awareness. Because imagine, imagine if it came out that instead of Amaranth, it was like Pokimane, right? You think the internet is not like up in arms, like we must protect Pokey? Like, come on, bro. Come on. I don't. I mean, are you? If is the context the same? Like Pokimane nah, was just nah, a nah, victim of something. Just, well, or is it just like yeah, yeah? Let's Poke. keep it the same. Let's keep it the same. Yeah, let's keep it a buck. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think in general that shit is corny, but I mean, it, it's raises awareness. I guess awareness there would probably be more outrage because she's just big. she's just bigger, so there would just be more. I guess there'd be she's more infamous. I would say. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, of course sure. the the reaction is gonna be a little more, a little more intense. So you saying that maybe. in such a soft tone is just like you know damn well it's not gonna be quote unquote a little more intense you know what the fuck well it's gonna you be pretty intense but I, <laughs> come on i'm bro. just saying in general i feel like this is so stupid that if you not like hey this isn't i don't know about this one big dog like mm. you have some artistic expression but i don't know if you want to express this i don't know what you're expressing okay why not is it worth anything yeah raise that awareness my man come on think about it listen then then I don't, you I, can use it as a good thing it's like it's not it never is does it look inherently malicious or evil you're really just kind of faking the funk just to like get a couple of views and get a couple of dollars so that way you can send it off to some charity it looks like a good thing at that point the optics my brother the optics that's how you got to look at it you see what i'm saying i guess if you wanted to spin it like that I guess if you really took the the long way around the thought train, maybe I could see it. But I'm sitting here like, if you looked what's on paper right in front of me, mm -hmm. nah, I don't think so. <laughs> if <laughs> anyone happening. looks at literally what's going on, they'd be like, huh? What Dressing is up on? as an abuse victim to well, I mean, think of it this way. So in full context, dressing up as an abuse victim to bring awareness to other uh, abuses that exist and then donating to the charities that reflect those beliefs, right? Is the same thing as people who protest uh, eating meat or using animals for testing and stuff like that. And they, uh, they do like anti-fur protests and shit like that and throw red paint on people who wear I mean, that's, you know, a form of assault. So maybe that's not, that's not the best example, but there are people who go to horrible extremes in order to protest things that they believe in. I mean, uh, just a couple of years ago, uh, here in Los Angeles, actually, there was a group of demonstrators who just laid out and pretended to be dead at the city capital, just saying that, oh yeah, we need to promote like uh clean air and like all this other shit and we need to you know reduce fossil fuels it's like okay i understand what you're doing here and they just made it very very inconvenient for people to go to work and it's just like but yeah they eventually did bring awareness to whatever the fuck i mean i don't remember the fuck it is entirely uh because i didn't contribute to it uh i was i was working that day uh <laughs> but yeah, they essentially brought awareness to a cause that they believed in by using some extreme motive that didn't make any sense to anybody else. But, I mean, you know, people do it all the time. So. Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's like chaining Cost yourself I, to a tree to prevent it from being torn down. I guess. I don't think so. But, I mean, if you're, like you said, on the, if she's like wilding on the Instagram live, like. Oh, yeah, actually getting into character. I don't think optically that looks pretty good. I don't think that optically that makes any kind of sense, but nah. I, I guess, yeah, she's tying herself to the abuse tree. I guess. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I don't, I'm just saying, man, it's, it's definitely possible. That's, Maybe that's you should all. say a little less. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't. I don't think you might is, be right. Speaking of bad publicity, man, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pivot, man. Speaking of uh bad publicity and that all it, well i mean it's about to get worse uh oh, you know the saying uh what is it 
uh, all news is good news or something like that. What is it? Uh, any publicity, publicity is yeah. All it, publicity it, is good publicity. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely not true in the case of Kanye West this week, man. Uh, did you hear? Uh, Kanye has now reached another level of cancellation that I have not seen since cancel culture became a thing. Um, Kanye is so canceled at this point that even J.P. Morgan Chase, that's right, the the one of the biggest American built banks, like one of the most corrupt, morally askew uh, verticals of America, is not fucking with Kanye West. They told him, "You have 30 days to get your money out of our bank." And apparently he has $145 million just sitting in, in, in banks everywhere. And they were like, you know what? We don't fuck with you so much. I mean, these are the same people that prop up warmongering, drug dealers, rapists. They carry Epstein money. They carry, uh, what is it? Well, Weinstein money. Like banks are, are terrible. And so for you to piss off people over at banks, it is absolutely insane. Insane. Absolutely insane. Um, this comes after, uh, Kanye's, not only his drink champs interview, uh, where he was saying some wild, crazy stuff about George Floyd, um, but also his anti-Semitic, uh, tweets and speeches in multiple scenarios. Um, especially the Pierce Morgan, what, was that Pierce Morgan? Yeah. Pierce Morgan on yeah, Fox Pierce News. Morgan debate. Um, so apparently, uh, the producers at Fox didn't want to air that episode. That episode was actually leaked. They were like, yo, this is actually too hot for us to fuck with. And it was originally just leaked from Fox. So it's very interesting. Um, Kanye's a black skinhead, bro. <laughs> this guy is, this guy needs some help, man. This guy needs something. I, uh, I already wasn't, wasn't really fucking with him with, uh, you know, during the, the MAGA arc, but this is, this is something else. And uh, I think this anti-Semitism and just overall Jewish hate, my boy, is just not not a good look at all. Um, and like, there's a few things like I get what he's trying to say, but here's my problem. Here's my biggest problem with Kanye West saying all of this shit is that we now live in a generation, uh, in a time period, excuse me, in a time period where uh, there are too many conversations going on at once right especially with kanye west saying all of this other shit about like jews are running all of these industries and things like that and they're the lawyers the tv producers the owners the the backers the bankers all this other stuff right okay so you're saying all that without knowing any of the history of judaism the jewish faith or what it's like for them back in israel right then he also wants to throw black people under the bus with this white lives matter shit knowing that this is going to get a rise out of people um especially because black lives matter does not inherently like the organization is bullshit but the movement should not be bullshit um which he's not bringing any of that attention which is what i think he was at one point i thought he was trying to do but i guess not uh and this this really just brings me to kanye west has never had an original thought in his entire fucking life honestly I don't think Kanye West even knows what the fuck. I don't think he believes any of the shit that he's talking about. I think he just hears people in his ear and he's like, oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. And then because he has a giant megaphone in his hand, he's trying to repeat and regurgitate something that he heard uh, secondhand and hearsay. Um, this guy is this guy is fucking bonkers because he has no idea the, the ramifications of the shit that he could that he's saying right now. Like the anti... I don't even want to say anti-Semitism, just like the, the just bullshit out of his face, man. And like, yeah, we never really asked other celebrities their opinions on stuff like this, but for him to just be doing the shit that he's doing and saying the shit that he's saying, he's clearly a hurt individual and he's very upset that Kim Kardashian doesn't want to be with him anymore. And according to uh, him and Charlemagne the God, he, his wife is fucking a white boy with a 10 inch dick. So uh, yeah, uh, that would hurt my yeah, feelings. correct. <laughs> Shout out to Pete Davidson, man. Shit, that boy swinging, swinging. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> man got a BBC, yes, sir. Um, hey, but yo. anyway, 
BWC, <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. I have to be more inclusive. Um, no, oh, no, nah, man, I'm just trying to big up the homie. That's all. Uh, shout out to Pete Davidson. That's all. He'll never hear this podcast, but you know, whatever. Um, True. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. I don't. Th- I don't think anybody. Will, <laughs> I mean, outside of our what ten people that listen to the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can say whatever the fuck I want. Um, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I think uh, because of his his life turmoil that he's going through. I mean, I understand. I get it. I really do. But as much as I want to sympathize, I mean, listen, Kanye, Kanye, yay. I know you're not listening to this podcast, bro, but I'm going to pretend you are for a second. I too have been hurt by a bitch. Okay. I've been hurt by several (laughs) bitches. All right. Listen, but you don't see me going around. I mean, my behavior, well, maybe because he's in a different tax bracket, he can behave differently. His, his, his level of acting out has escalated because of his tax bracket so you know what i thought i was behaving manic and i even explained this in in the in the previous show where it was just like people who are acting manic or are in a manic state do not know that they're behaving manically because they think they're reacting normally they think that they think that the things that are happening to them are um not only not justified but this is their natural reaction to these things it's almost like it's like I was saying in the in the other episode. I was saying, if there's a fly in the room and you're trying to swat at the fly, but nobody else in the room sees the fly, it's like, is there even a fly? And you're trying to t- convince people, like, yes, yes, there is a fly. Like, look, like, you don't hear it. You don't see it. Like, it's right there. Like, and nobody else can, you know, we can't tell you any different because your version of reality is your version of reality. So I understand, yay, that you are doing and saying things that, you have a, sh- a shit ton of stuff going on. You're trying to run a half-baked billion-dollar business. You have a bunch of people that say they don't fuck with you anymore. You have a bunch of uh, corporate America people that don't fuck with you anymore. I get it. But you clawing for white validation is not not what you should be doing right now, honestly. And I think this might be a big reason why Kim left your ass, just to be real with you. Just to be real, yay. Um, because you obviously think on a different stratosphere than everybody else. Like, we can admit you are some type of genius, musically sure i don't know about the rest of you but listen man you gotta get some help (laughs) you either gotta get some help or keep your ass in the house for like a good 60 to 90 days all right you you need to detox from all of this shit i understand you got stuff going on with your kids your business and all that other stuff you need to handle one issue at a time and right now you drawing fire to yourself to where banks won't even fuck with you bro like the most corrupt institutions in America won't fuck with you now. Like, like really think about that. Like that's, that's some crazy shit. So I listen, man, I'm gonna pray for Kanye. Uh, he doesn't need my prayers cause he's a fucking millionaire, but <laughs> I, I feel bad, man. I feel bad. Like, I feel like Kanye, I was having a conversation with, you know, some random bitch on Instagram. Uh, when I, after I posted something, I mean, I, I posted something about how Ye is acting stupid and she kind of like came at me crazy. She was like, people need to listen to what Kanye is saying and blah, 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 blah. I was like, look, bitch, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, the man's just needs a hug. He really does. He needs, he needs some real homies around him to be like, look, man, maybe just put your phone down for a little, for, just for a little while. He really needs some homies to tell him like, look, we need to give you a reality check. I understand that the stuff with Kim and Pete and all this other stuff, and you feel like people are against you. My brother, you are setting people against you. You are turning these pieces against you. I'm not gonna lie to you, Chief. And obviously, I can say this because I only know, well, we, I don't wanna put Plank in this, but essentially, we the people, or people who are commentating on the situation, can say certain things because we only see enough information that comes to light. We only get to hear the interviews when you go on Drink Champs and you say the shit that you say, or when you go on radio and you're you're yelling at co-hosts and, and shit like that, and you're saying the shit that you're saying. That's the shit that we use as ammo, honestly. We're not just making up these things uh, you know, out of nowhere. It's you who are providing the ammo. So it's just like, fucking relax, bro. I I get you want your kids back, but brother, don't have these Jewish people mad at you, man. <laughs> that's don't have these Jewish people it, mad at the, you. That's the moral of the story. Um, the Jewish people nah, no, no, no. Because I uh, I remember reading up on. Well, first of all, when you say when anybody says that stereotypes jewish people as doctors lawyers owners bankers and stuff like that that's actually 
rhetoric that was used pre-Holocaust. Like, uh, and if anybody doesn't know this, you need to look up like, what was it? Uh, uh, I wanna say, was it 1932 Germany? Basically like a few, two years before Hitler really like took power, a lot of his rhetoric he was using was the same shit that Kanye West is saying. That how is it that, uh, and here's the thing about Kanye, he points it at black people and he victimizes black people and tries to get other black people behind him when, it, when he says shit like this. Hitler was saying, well, these Jews are just really fucking powerful. They own all the banks. They're all the lawyers, all the this, all the that. Really putting these people in a position where it's just like the average German person at the time was just like, hey, what the fuck? Yeah, he kind of got a point. And it was really just a lot of this rhetoric that built him up into this place. And, and Kanye West is doing the same fucking thing, which is not okay because imagine being a broke Jewish person. Like... <laughs> Like, if you're, like, imagine being being Jewish and being broke, and you're like, hey, yo, what the fuck? Like, if that's what we all are, how come I'm struggling to make ends meet? You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. um, it really makes me think about things in a bigger scope, because if the average person in America, really, I mean, Jews are less than 0.2% of the population in America. Like, that's that's an accurate, like, like statement. If they're that small of the country, right? I would say probably majority of people in America either haven't in encountered any Jewish people, don't know any Jewish people, or or are involved with any Jewish culture whatsoever at all. Like, fortunately for me, I live in LA, they're fucking everywhere. Like, some of my closest homies are Jewish. Like, I was gonna give one of my homeboys my kidney. Like, <laughs> And he's just like, you know, he brought me to Shabbat dinner and everything. I hung out with his family and everything. Man, that was dope. But listen, you saying some shit like this and most people don't really know anything about the Jewish culture except for what they see on TV and, and in movies and they hear people like Kanye West say shit about Jewish people. It's kind of just like, shut the, shut the fuck up. Like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The same thing could be said for black people the same thing could be said for hispanic people and stuff like that so spreading this type of rhetoric can be extremely fucking dangerous as as shown in this uh what what article in, in this nbc article i was reading uh at the beginning of the show um about the banner that was put over the 405 freeway here in la um and known hate groups getting behind the words of kanye west like that is just just fucking weird just fucking weird so mm. i don't know man I don't, I don't have a moral of the story uh <laughs> i don't have any moral uh, mm. i don't have any any moral thing here to say except for treat people the way that you want to be treated and stop listening to kanye west seriously like true this guy needs to shut the fuck up like he needs to get some oh. serious fucking help so i'll keep my thoughts pretty brief but if you're listening to Kanye West for political takes, you're a fucking idiot. Or any all. any celebrity, really. Like I think yes, any most celebrities I'd ag I'd agree with that. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to these these people who are uneducated. If you ever if you ever want to do your own research, check multiple sources, and that's if you really care. I don't think I think Kanye West is just I don't I don't know if he wants attention or whatever he wants. I don't give a fuck. Because as soon as Donda 2 comes out, I'm listening to that bitch. Oh God, I don't give bro. a fuck. I don't care. I'm going to be real with you. I don't... I'm not, like, sitting here like, damn, Kanye West, the intellectual. I need him. I need him to, like, teach me some shit about racial tensions in America. Like, I don't give a fuck. Hmm. I'm sorry. I just don't. If you care and you think that shit is harmful more power to you you know what i mean to dismantle his arguments with facts and logic please i guess because i don't think kanye is like anyone's political commentator i mean i really don't i well i mean the exact opposite is being proven so well i listen if that's if that's what it is that's what it is when Donda 2 comes on and I hear some shit like 24, hey, sorry. 24 is hot, yeah. Hey, my bad. Hey, I'm going to be, that's me for a minute. Sorry. 
I'm with Kanye. If so, that shit comes so on. So Donda 2 got a 24 song. 24 hours. 20, <laughs> yeah. He got a song that Sorry. sounds like 24, right? He's hitting. But the title is I Hate Juice. You still vibing with it? Damn, would you look at the title? <laughs> yeah, all right. Exactly. <laughs> Probably not. I don't like politically on, charged man. music. Come anyway. on, man. It's, the whole album is about to be Donda 2, the Jewish agenda. agenda. Come on now. Come on, man. Stop. Hey, man. Stop it. If it's heat. If it's I'm heat. Listen, I'll listen if to it's it. heat, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> Nah, man, you wild. You you a wild boy for Oh, okay. That, that's what we're saying. Yeah, I'm gonna draw the line there. right there, man. I don't know <laughs> this guy. Yeah, I don't know that's this guy, man. Who the fuck are you? I need a new co-host now. This shit he is crazy. He can say I hate wetbacks. Okay? He can say it. I'm gonna sit there like, damn, this shit hot. Whoa, would you look at the time? Hey man, you know what? This has been an <laughs> excellent podcast. You know, we're at about 45 minutes. We want to say thank you guys so much for listening, man. This has been this has been great. I don't know what's going on with Plank today, man. I think he's sick or something, but <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to be that. <laughs> um, other than that, man, I, I don't have anything else for for today's show. Uh, there was a trailer for Ant Man: Quantumania. Um, I uh, yes, I the one with Kang the Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror is in it. I've been seeing images online and stuff like that, so that seems dope. Um, if you guys want to catch that, that's going to be on our Patreon. I don't know when we're going to upload it or when we're going to fucking work on that, uh, but we'll probably mm. do a reaction to it, so you guys will probably see that. Um, and then, uh, were you watching She Hulk? by the way fuck no that shit is ass okay all right all right so guys uh if you guys want to see us uh do reaction episodes to episodes of no. she hulk <laughs> make sure no. to go ahead <laughs> that, sub you, to the nah, patreon nah, nah. man if i'm we, sorry if we That's get like a couple more people on the patreon or a couple more listeners to the podcast man maybe me and plank might have to sit down and watch that you know what i'm saying like oh yeah, no yeah, get a nice reaction no series going I, honestly hey man look 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 think about it you were about to sit here and listen to listen to donda 2 i hate jews the hey. remix come on man if it's hard <laughs> if it's hard but you're not hey, gonna, bro. you're not gonna watch some bullshit for some money for the for the viewers for the homies i don't know yeah, man all right all right people who actually prop you up all right yeah okay all right. <laughs> that's true but fuck that. <laughs> this guy's morals are so skewed this guy's wild man <laughs> fuck that i'm just saying man if that shit is hot hey i'm bumping that shut shit. the fuck up bro <laughs> Get this guy out of here, man. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's show. Uh, Plank, any closing statements, man, that don't involve Donda 2, preferably? Oh, damn. Um, Just say you don't, damn. bro. Just say you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and shut it down, man. Come on. If that shit is hard, <laughs> man. Like... Fuck up, this guy. <laughs> hey, man, we want to say thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure to support us on Patreon. If you guys are listening to the audio version, make sure to rate this five stars on both Spotify and Apple. If you guys are watching the video version, hey, hi, thank you. Uh, make sure to click that like button, subscribe if you are new, if this is your first time listening. Also, make sure to leave us two comments down in the comment section. Let us know what you thought of today's episode and tell us what your favorite part was. All right, listen, this has been your man, Just Jay Saba, producer Plank. This is the Canon Culture Podcast. We'll, guys, we'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon. Donda 2 not going to be hot. Damn, why'd you say that?